If you've ever had Jamaican escovitch fish that's perfectly seasoned and fried just right, you know all it takes is one bite and you're hooked, just like a big red snapper fish. Hey guys, it's Roxy Chowdown and welcome to my kitchen. Thank you so much for stopping by. In this video, I'll show you step by step how easy it is to get deliciously spicy beach style fried fish with pickle at home. Let's get started. So step number one is to get your fish nice and clean and ready for seasoning. If you'd like the full fish cleaning tutorial, please check my how to playlist at the end of this video. So my peeps, let me take a few seconds to share that something exciting is coming to my website. If you're not yet subscribed to RoxyChowdown.com, please head on over at the end of this video and sign up to find out all the exclusive offers and deals that only subscribers will get. See you soon. So guys, when your fish is all fresh and clean, it's time for step two, seasoning time. Start by draining all the excess liquid from the fish, then lay them flat. Just so you know guys, if you can't find red snapper for this recipe, other fish like yellowtail snapper, bream or sliced kingfish are excellent fish to escovitch. Let me know in the comments below what type of fish do you think is the best type to escovitch. So my peeps, always remember safety first. Please place the fish on a cutting board to score it instead of using the risky technique shown on your screen, okay? Next, lightly season the fish with salt and black pepper, ensuring that the seasoning goes into every crevice and corner of the fish. But remember, when it comes to seasoning with salt, less is more. So try not to use more than one teaspoon of salt to every pound of fish. As you can see, most of the fins have been trimmed, but there are still lots of sharp ears on the fish, so please keep that in mind. This recipe requires a slow and steady wins the race mindset. Do not rush the process. As seen here, you'll want to gently pat in the seasoning, being very careful to avoid the sharp bones around the fish head. After you've seasoned all the fish, it's time to heat the oil on high for frying. My peeps, please take note of this important step whenever you're frying fish. Always make sure the oil is adequately hot before adding the fish. If not, the fish will absorb too much oil. Now gently place each fish in the oil. Guys, do, may I beg you, try resist the urge to dash the fish in the pot and then run from the hot oil. That's when things can get dangerous. Instead, get the plate of fish close to the pot and use tongs to grip and gently lower the fish into the oil. Coming up, I'll share with you another game-changing tool that works perfectly with these tongs. But before I move on to the next step, 
you don't know me have to big up all of my subscribers right my subbies thanks so much for sticking with me and supporting my channel by liking my videos sharing them commenting and most importantly watching the ads if you haven't yet subscribed don't be shy go ahead and hit that subscribe button and to turn on post notifications so you never miss any of my videos so here it is guys my favorite kitchen tool of all time when it comes to frying any food and it's my large glass pot cover slash face <laughs> face shield no sir me can't even talk straight but i promised to share all my secrets with you so yes my big and serious i use my pot cover to protect me when i'm frying fish all i do is hold the handle and place the pot cover in front of my face and that way i can easily get close to the pot and use my tongs to fry my fish now i fry fish anytime i feel for it as long as i have my pot cover and tongs and me run fry fish fry fish no run me try it and tell me what you guys think my peeps if you'd like to purchase a great set of tongs along with my large frying pan with a matching glass lid please click the link in the description box below or head over to my website at roxychowdown.com thanks in advance for purchasing products through my links to all my lovely supporters who have already purchased items no thanks big up and bless up every time After frying the fish for about 8 minutes on each side, remove it from the pot and place it on thick paper towel to absorb the excess oil. So people say the proof is in the pudding. So let's dig in and see what the inside of this fried fish looks like. Mmm. -hmm nice and juicy don't if you like what you're seeing so far please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up now it's time to make the deliciously spicy escovitch pickle sauce which we will pour over the fried fish at the end Now there are many ways to make escovitch pickle and you can go ahead and comment below where you're from and how you make it. But I've chosen a simple yet flavorful recipe that always takes me back to enjoying fried fish in Jamaica by the sea. If like me you love Jamaican beach style escovitch fish then keep watching to see how it's done. And before I forget if you're making Jamaican escovitch fish, then you'll need a delicious Jamaican festival recipe to go with it, right? Well, because my love and a whole heap, I've already uploaded a step-by-step -step festival recipe video for you. Quickly check out what a few lovely people had to say about my light and crispy Jamaican festival recipe. Then at the end of this video, Go watch and see how easy it is to make these sweet fried dumplings from scratch. So guys, one last thing. If you've tried any of my recipes and love them, please remember to leave a comment so I know how it worked out for you. And just so you know, leaving a comment on my YouTube channel or on my website at roxychowdown.com is a great way to give me feedback and to also show your support so that I can give you more helpful recipes. 
So our Escovitch pickle is almost done and here I'm storing it in a recycled cherry jar. Now the only thing left to add is white vinegar. No water, no salt, no sugar, no oil. As long as you allow this pickle to sit for at least one hour, you'll get a deliciously flavorful Jamaican beach style escovitch sauce that takes your fried fish to the next level. My peeps, I can't wait for you all to try this tantalizing recipe. Who's hungry? So there you have it guys, deliciously spicy and mouth-watering Jamaican escovitch fish, Roxy Chowdown style. Thank you so much for watching, enough love and blessings and see you in my next video.